केरला में 10 अगस्त को एक 9 साल की बच्ची अपने घर के पास के कुएं से पानी पीती है 13 अगस्त को उसे फीवर आता है और 14 अगस्त को उसकी मौत हो जाती है 15 अगस्त को एक न्यू बॉर्न बेबी को पानी से नहलाया जाता है 18 अगस्त को उसे फीवर आता है वॉमिटिंग होती है और अट्ठाईस अगस्त को उसकी मौत हो जाती है 20 अगस्त को एक बावन साल की महिला पानी से घर के काम करती है 25 अगस्त को उसको फीवर आता है हेडेक होता है और 30 अगस्त को उसकी भी मौत हो जाती है ऐसे एक या दो नहीं सात मामले सामने आए हैं एक महीने के अंदर केरला में और उन सभी में पानी एक कॉमन फैक्टर है आखिर ऐसा क्या है इस पानी में ये जानने के लिए पानी की जाँच करवाई गई और साइंटिस्ट को उसमें एक ऐसा पैरासाइट मिला जो वायरस नहीं है बल्कि एक अमीबा है और ये कोई आम अमीबा नहीं है ये एक ब्रेन ईटिंग अमीबा है सो हेलो एंड वेलकम यूर वॉचिंग नेक्स्ट आई एस इंग्लिश टूडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस ब्रेन ईटिंग अमीबा एंड सम अदर डेंजरस एंड रेयर अमीबाज दैट हैव बिन फाउंड इन द पॉन्ड्स ऑफ केरला सो स्टे विद अस बिकॉज योर स्टेट कैन बी द नेक्स्ट अफेक्टेड This is the brain eating amoeba scientifically called Nigleria fowleri which causes a deadly disease called primary amoebic meningoencephalitis or PAM just yesterday september 8 2025 shobhna ji a strong 56 year old woman from mallapuram district lost her life to this monster imagine how in god's own country water which is normally life giving has become a killer Let's understand step by step what this is, how it spreads, and how we can protect ourselves. First, let's understand what is an amoeba. This amoeba is not a virus or bacteria. It's a tiny living organism that lives freely in warm water, like lakes, rivers, or poorly cleaned swimming pools. In a tropical country like India, it grows quickly when water temperature is between 25 to 46 degrees Celsius. How do people get infected by it? It's quite simple. when water enters the nose while swimming or even when drawing water from a well it splashes into the nose from there the amoeba travels along the olfactory nerve which is the nerve related to smell and reaches the brain once amoeba reaches there it starts eating brain cells and causes severe inflammation leading to meningoencephalitis which means swelling of the brain and the membranes around it At first the symptoms look like regular flu fever headache vomiting but within 1 to 9 days it quickly worsens confusion seizures hallucinations coma and the death rate is more than 97% worldwide only a few people have survived this infection in kerala three children survived miraculously with the help of a drug called miltefocine but for most the disease is fatal within about 5 days Now why this sudden outbreak in Kerala in 2025 there have already been 42 confirmed cases and 7 deaths the first case was in may a 5 year old girl from kozhi kode then in june a 13 year old boy and the cases exploded in august and yesterday shobhna ji also died Right now 11 patients are fighting for their lives in Kozhi Kode Medical College Hospital. This is not just about Nigleria fowleri. Scientists have also found other dangerous amoebas like Verma moeba, Asentha moeba and even a rare one called Cephiana pedata for the first time in India. Could these amoebas be mixing and creating new hybrid forms in polluted soil? Now why is this happening after the monsoon? Kerala experiences heavy rains from June to September which causes water to become stagnant and often mixed with sewage in wells and ponds. In rural areas like the village of Shobhnaji, people use well water daily for bathing, drinking and rituals. Even Ayurvedic practices like neti pots which is used to rinse nasal passages can be risky if contaminated water is used. There's also the angle of climate change. Experts say that global warming is increasing water temperatures and causing irregular monsoons sometimes late and sometimes very intense flooding a 2025 study suggests that just a 1 2 degree rise in temperature can double the risk of pam in tropical areas kerala is like a canary in the coal mine for india warning us about future dangers there is also a socio economic dimension most victims from the rule of poor families farmers and children who play in village ponds 
Kerala's urban growth has led to sewage leaks that pollute wells. Kerala's high literacy rate means more cases are reported, but nearby states might be under-reporting. Improved testing since 2024, especially in cerebrospinal fluid, as CSF by PCR method has helped identify many hidden cases. Doctors in Kozikode are the real heroes, uncovering the truth about this deadly parasite. Now let's talk about what is the government doing in all this. Health Minister Veena George launched a statewide awareness campaign on August 25. A major chlorination drive cleaned all wells on August 30 and 31. Households are now ordered to clean their water tanks quarterly. Schools will run awareness platforms after Onam. And hotels and resorts face fines if their pools are dirty. The drug miltefosine is stockpiled and expert medical teams are ready. Doxycycline is being used to treat related infections like leptospirosis. On social media platforms also like Twitter, people are sharing important tips like wear nose clips while swimming and avoid stagnant water. But this thriller isn't over yet. There are new threats like the rare amoeba variant such as Cephinia and the Indian Council of Medical Research ICMR recommends a national surveillance system. New innovations are underway like AI-based water sensors and nasal vaccines are being tested in labs. Shobhna Ji's story teaches us a harsh lesson. A simple well dip changed her life forever. Her family's pain reminds us how quickly health can collapse. One day fine, next day fighting for life and then silence. Friends, this amoeba is teaching us a vital message. Respect water. Here are some important tips to stay safe. Number one, before swimming, check if pools are clean and chlorinated. Chlorinate wells regularly. One teaspoon of bleach per 1000 litres of water. Number three, if unsure about water quality, boil the water before use. Number four, for nati pots, always use distilled or sterilised water. Number five, if you have early symptoms like fever, headache or vomiting after exposure to water, see a doctor immediately. Don't waste time with wrong diagnosis. Kerala is fighting hard and it will win. This outbreak is not just a tragedy but a wake-up call for better climate action and sanitization. If we act now, we can stop this brain-eating monster from spreading. That's it for today. I'll see you again in another deep dive video. Until then, stay safe and informed. Bye-bye. Take care.